Hello everybody, these 16 secrets help me grow my LinkedIn impressions by 2004% and make over $1 million and will guarantee that you grow your audience and your bank account. So let's drive straight into it. First step will transform your authority in just one hour because humans make judgments based on appearance, whether we like it or not. So we wanna make sure we run our profile image through this free software and make sure we rank above eight for all of authority, likability, and trustability, because that's ultimately what drives human behavior. And I've seen people transform the money they make on LinkedIn from this alone. And I'll link the software at the end of this training. And you don't need to hire a professional headshot photographer. Just get a friend to take the photos with an iPhone and get them to take like 50 or 60 because the best images are always kind of the pose between the post. So as you're moving around and smiling, just keep them clicking and I guarantee you'll have something good. All right, now you're ready for the second trick to triple your LinkedIn traffic because you can have the best profile in the world, but without anybody seeing it, there's just no point to existing, right? And this trick will triple the eyeballs on you within 24 hours, no matter how small your following on LinkedIn is right now. Why? The LinkedIn algorithm is super unique and prioritizes sending your content to people who already follow you or are already connected to you instead of sending it viral across the platforms like Instagram and TikTok. They even said this in their press releases, they don't like viral posts. So that means if you don't have a following already, it's not much point you posting until you've done this because when you comment on a post of a big influencer on LinkedIn, a fraction of their audience is going to see it too. That's a quirk of the LinkedIn algorithm. So find an influencer with a big following of your ideal clients and start commenting on their posts every single day. And it's really simple to find them. Just type a keyword in the LinkedIn search bar. You don't need to pay for the LinkedIn premium stuff and then select posts and look for people with a headline of your ideal clients click into their content and start commenting. Number three, you're now gonna get a flood of people requesting to connect. We don't stop there, you can grow your network even more by sending connect messages to new people using this hack to save you time. Don't make the mistake of spending ages and ages of crafting connect messages. Most people are either in the camp where they're gonna reject no matter what you do, or they're gonna accept no matter what you do. It's not worth focusing on the people in the middle. Instead, put all your time, focus and energy, which is valuable into the people that will accept. But all I do every single day is I go to my network, I then scroll down, I look at the combination of the profile image with the headline, get a gut feel to whether they're my potential clients or good strategic partnerships, and then just click connect, connect, connect done. All right, so now you've got all these new connections, the next hack will make sure that people, when they visit your profile, they consume your content more frantically than lemonade in the Sahara Desert. And all of the top creators on LinkedIn are doing exactly what I'm about to show you. We've seen over 30,000 posts and the best performing posts always have a short first line of five to eight words and then they finish it with a colon or three dots putting one of these things creates anticipation just like the end of an episode of your favorite netflix series people just can't resist reading on if you want to double the effectiveness of this and go to ninja level also add a number into it and make the sentence structure very specific like i just i have and speak to the thing that your target market wants to achieve specificity and speaking to their desires gets everything pushed all right for number five make sure you do something all the best websites do without exception, make their content easy to skim by using lots of wide space so that it doesn't feel overwhelming. And they also speak to people and write things in the same way people would say things as opposed to the normal rules of grammar. So they can go out the window for now, forget about the grammar please. And sometimes when people do this for the first time, it's natural for things to feel disjointed and unnatural and jerky because at the end of the day, it's a new skill. And there are two ways to get past this super quickly, literally in the 10 minutes. You can either write it and then at the end read it back and whenever you feel like there's a, a phrase that you wouldn't normally say, just change it to how you say it. Or what I like to do, I speak into my phone on an, an app and then I let the app transcribe it and then I edit it and tighten up the transcription. There's tons of them that do this. We'll go through all the apps at the end because for now, 
This next one will guarantee you always have loads of people commenting, liking and engaging on these posts. So you never look like that kid that has to eat lunch by themselves in the corner, which was me at school, by the way. So to avoid this, make sure you finish every single post with a question and a question mark so people answer that question because this sends a signal to the LinkedIn algorithm that your post is interesting and will push it further and further and further and make you look popular. But it doesn't stop there. Here's the ninja hack, right? You can also ask another question in the comments and you will double the probability of people replying to your post. You can see in the images here, examples of people doing this. and You'll be surprised how much engagement you get. And do you know what the best thing about this is? A fraction of all of the audience of the people commenting will now see your posts. So you're building hack upon hack upon hack. Speaking about commenting, number seven, make sure you make a list of all the times that the influencers you are going to target for commenting post. Because if you make sure you're the first person to comment, then you get way more eyes onto your profile and your content and your comment spreadsheet with the URL of all the LinkedIn influencers profiles and the time they post. And if you want to download this, just click below. We've got all the resources there. And here's a tip on how to comment if you want to give advice. I've never found it productive to directly contradict the original poster, sometimes called the OP, something like you should do this or anything like that. It's actually much better and lands in a much better way if you write something like really great advice. I also love too. And then insert your advice. It's just a much more civil way to do it. Moving on to number eight, this one will build a community of super fans that love you more than a long lost brother returning with a living lottery ticket. Not many people know about it because every time you do this, LinkedIn sends a notification to your entire network of people that are online. That means everybody sees you, you get a load of eyeballs. And if you do this once a week, you'll get a load of content consumption. And that's right, some of you might have guessed it, it's a LinkedIn Live. I got 15 hours of watch time on this, even though there were only 12 people watching it at its peak. And that's enough to watch Terminator 2 like eight times. It's a fantastic strategy for people wanting more reach, growth and leads. And to do this, just go to YouTube, type in the topic you want to do a live about, and then look at the best performing titles and take that across to LinkedIn. I don't know if you don't worry what to say. I know it can be quite daunting to go live without structure because this next post will help you hack that. And it will also help you double your reach without doing any more work because the best time to post on LinkedIn, according to most sources, is between 8 and 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. Lots of people also come online in the evening depending on their time zone and your time zone might be different. So all you want to do is you want to take the content that you're going to post, post it at 8.30 and then post it again at like 6 o'clock or 7.30 in the evening and you will see a fresh people engaging, a fresh impetus of reach and if you want to go super ninja on this you can take pre-recorded videos and restream them to linkedin as if they were live using software i use this hack all the time and it means you can plan your live videos upload it into this software and get all the benefits of the notifications you do when you're doing a live while you sit back and enjoy your time with your kids or whatever you love to do all right, number 10 is going to increase your LinkedIn follower count quicker than the 100 meters world record because you can synchronize your entire email account going back years. That's Gmail, Outlook and some others. And that means you just connect it to LinkedIn and everyone you've ever interacted with will be loaded into LinkedIn and for free without hitting any connect limits, you can press connect, connect, connect. Do this and you could easily have hundreds of people in your LinkedIn network today. And to do this, just go to my network, click on my network. Then go to the left and click on contacts. And if you haven't done it before, you're going to be able to go to manage synced contacts, click there, then click on Google Outlook or whichever one you are doing and you can sync all your emails. But before you do this, go to number 11 because you probably want to know how to make some money, right? And when it comes to contacting and converting these followers and eyeballs and connections, the fastest way to do this is to start conversations in direct messages, but in a very specific way that's neither sleazy or salesy. And it doesn't feel like you're even selling. And to do this once they're connected, click to send a message and send a couple of messages spaced out over a couple of days. And to make sure this lands the right way and cultivates a profitable relationships, never ask for anything in the first couple of messages, meaning don't drop a link, meaning don't ask them to engage in your content, meaning don't ask them to book a call, meaning don't ask them to look at anything, don't sell. It's exactly what we would do in real life. It's exactly what we do when we meet people and we do it for the first time. So read the room, 
and build a relationship. I like to use a nice script, something like, hi name, great to be connected. I'm really looking forward to learning more about whatever they do, or I'm really looking forward to learning more about your experience in whatever they're doing. And number 12, if you wanna make your messages even more impactful, then do what I do and use this Loom hack. Make sure you're on their profile, turn on Loom so that they see you're on their profile, and then hit record and use a script like this. This is what's working right now. Hi name, I just wanna prove this is not artificial intelligence. I'm on your profile i'm just going to click it i just want to say i really enjoyed your post about x and i'm really looking forward to seeing more of your content or more about what you do substitute as necessary again don't ask for anything put it into the message and say hey name just done you a video they'll see the thumbnail they'll see you on the profile they won't be able to resist opening it and you'll get a great relationship and this next one is straight out of the book influenced by cialdini and adapted for linkedin we've been doing this seven years because cialdini says humans like to spend with people who are members of the same community because it's what we used to do back when we were hunter gatherers we hung around in tribes and we only trusted a small group of people so when you start building on linkedin to sell stuff Target new connections to people who live in the same geography as you or who studied at the same educational institution as you or worked at the same place as you. And if you can stack all of these up on LinkedIn Sales Navigator like this, I go here, top right and I click Sales Navigator. If you don't have it, I recommend getting the, there's usually a free trial. I click on that. I then go to Lead Filters and then I type in the college in the keywords, but I don't click on it below because that would bring the people that work there so then i just go enter and then i usually click on posted on linkedin here and then i adjust all these other filters so that i have an excellent search i get 90 percent connect acceptance 42 percent book call rate and i use the following script hi name great to be connected we went to the same university we'd love to connect see what you're doing see if we have any of the share, same colleagues and connections in common and see if we can help each other next number 14 if you're new and unknown and you don't yet have the trust of people on linkedin you want to use this hack because you can get it in 15 minutes you just borrow other people's authority other people's trust you look for super popular people share their posts put it in your feed and people who follow these people will automatically trust you. This is called the halo effect and it's a well-known psychological principle. All right, number 15, this will help you connect with your audience and sell things and it's called KLT, sometimes known as the no like trust factor. And it means posting something that helps people believe that change is possible because as entrepreneurs, business owners, or even growing a personal brand to get jobs, we are all selling every single moment of every single day. Somebody's selling, somebody's buying, Maybe it's not a product, maybe it's an idea, a belief, a concept. And the best way to do this is to post a before and after story. People can argue with facts, they can argue with statistics, but not with your own personal journey. And if you've experienced what they're experiencing and showcase how you've gotten past it, you'll get loads of engagement, loads of comments, and people that go, wow, this person is like me. Start by stating the problem you're experiencing, then describe what you did, then describe what happens. I do this with my health a lot. And number 16, you might think this sounds like a lot of work. You can solve almost all of these problems with an app called Tapler. You can get the viral post ideas. You can build the lists to engage with. You can target the influences. You can find post ideas. It's already there. So grab your guide below, grab Taplio if you wish, give it a trial. Have a wonderful day and check. And if you want to get your LinkedIn profile ready so that people take you seriously, check this video here.